Sydney is the most populated city in Australia with over 4.6 million residents. The city's population is expected to swell to around 5.8 million by 2031. Many major housing and infrastructure projects will be required to support this growth. All of this associated construction will consume huge amounts of building materials, in particular sand, cement and aggregate. Over the last 100 years, much of Sydney's infrastructure was built using aggregates from the Penrith Lake scheme, of which Borrell is a key stakeholder. Anticipating the depletion of this resource more than 10 years ago, Borrell, Australia's largest building and construction materials supplier, planned a way to supply quarry products to the Sydney region now and far into the future. The solution comes from the company's $200 million Sydney Aggregates project, which includes their new pepper tree quarry. Borrell are the largest construction material supplier in Australia and have been supplying into the Sydney market for over a hundred years and we're here today at Pepper Tree Quarry and this is the next phase in continuing that supply into Sydney and the, and the greater New South Wales market. Now the Penrith Lake scheme has been Borrell's traditional source of supply of building products into the, the Sydney and greater New South Wales market. It's coming towards the end of its normal life. So Pepper Tree Quarry is a brand new development it's the biggest investment of its kind that's happening in Australia. Into the future, it will provide a resource for hard rock, or granite iorite, uh, for the building and construction industry, particularly in the Sydney metropolitan area. Borrell benchmarked a number of solutions, and in doing that, we travelled to various countries around the world, and we had a look at the best practice being used within the mining industry. When we did that, we discovered that the in-pit solution was the best fit for our operation for a number of reasons. That included safety, efficiency, cost, as well as environmental solutions. So it met a whole range of our needs. The Locotrack LT160 is the, is the largest mobile crusher in the Southern Hemisphere. It uh, weighs 285 tonnes. It's 12 metres tall, 25 metres long. It's a large jaw crusher that's uh, on a mobile set of tracks. And this gives us the benefit of being able to drive the machine all the way up to the blasted rock pile. So then the excavator just feeds directly into the primary crusher, eliminating the need for lots of dump trucks. It has a, a maximum output of about 1150 tonnes per hour and can accept feed up to minus a thousand. It uh, has its own onboard automation system and provides both video and data output uh, to displays in the operator's cabin of the excavator which provides it with stock. So in essence it's a, it's a one-man operation. Uh, the operator both provides feed to it and also oversees its operation based on the displayed information he has in his cab. A traditional quarry would normally have a fleet of large dump trucks running to a fixed primary crusher, whereas the LT160 being on tracks eliminates the need for all those dump trucks and the operators. For me as a quarry manager, the impit crushing solution offers a, a number of advantages over the use of dump trucks. From a safety point of view, it eliminates the need for dump trucks running up and down a whole road. From a cost point of view, the cost of all the uh, fuel that goes into all the dump trucks, the maintenance costs, and, um, and also from a, from a hassle point of view, um, there's a lot less uh, people to manage and uh, uh, in many ways a lot less equipment to manage uh, with this solution. The benefits of in-pit crushing are numerous. They extend from the environmental benefits of reducing carbon emissions and using less fuel, and also dust emissions, to things like the safety aspects of having people in mobile plant operating within the quarry pit environment. Throughout the LT160 project, there have been several steps. Initially in the design phase, we looked at all the available models of crushers. The LT160 was provided by Metso, and throughout that collaborative process, what we've done is consult with the OEM to find the best practice features that we could possibly put onto that piece of equipment. Initially in the design phase, the 3D modelling was an integral part of our design process. 
and what we did was look at the 3D designs and we identified areas of improvement and we identified uh, where we could possibly change the design or make it more user friendly. Without that we wouldn't have been able to see the equipment and get an idea of its operation and functionality. One of the key challenges with this project has been uh, the fact that the impit crushing model is not widely used in Australia so it's been really really important that both Borel and Metso work hand in hand and work very closely together in order to share knowledge and share understanding but also to help us get the best uh, from this machine. The METSO team have been instrumental in both the risk assessment processes as well as their engagement on design. Without them and the initiative they've shown, we wouldn't have achieved the desired result. Uh, Borel has, uh, um, has established very high standards for their safety expectations for this plant and METSO had to work with them to deliver new and innovative solutions to meet Borel's safety expectations. Uh, challenges ranged from design issues to how we were going to meet our environmental and safety requirements. The key to overcoming those challenges has been a collaborative effort from both Borel and Metso. The outcome that we've achieved is a crusher that's world's best practice in terms of both safety as well as environment. I think without doubt uh, Metso have been, been with us all the way through this project and uh, will continue to help support the project going forwards. From a personal perspective, working with METSO has been a pleasure. I believe that we've achieved the results we've achieved because of the collaboration on both sides. It's been very, a very rewarding process. I've been very impressed with, with working with the Finnish team and also from the, from the local Australian support. The LT160 is mobile, flexible, unique, it's big, smart, it's exciting efficient, innovative, world's best practice and environmentally friendly. And most importantly, safe. And it's just a fantastic opportunity for both Borel and Metzler.